We already know that this is a gene that contributes to risk for depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. When we looked at their own children, their children also had an epigenetic change in the same spot on a stress-related gene. We're talking about multiple traumas for hundreds of years. Not only are you traumatized directly, you're seeing your friends, your cousins, and everyone in your environment being beaten, sold away from family, raped, mutilated, all those things that were happening, and eventually, of course, lynched. But looking at those traumas, is it plausible that those people escaped stress-related illness? Not plausible.